Hello, my name is Rich Parkhurst and I am an application engineer at Professional Control Corporation. The purpose of this video is to explain and demonstrate the online software download functionality uh, for, for downloading Siemens software. There are a couple of different methods of, of taking delivery of Siemens software and, and the first one is uh, traditionally hard copy. So in that case you would receive a box in the mail that has uh, installation media on DVD and a USB stick that contains the license that you would ultimately transfer your, to your computer to authorize your software. Uh, the other method is to get online software delivery, to be able to download that software and licensing from the internet. Uh, there are a, a couple of, of advantages to, to using online software download. Uh, the first one is it is a little bit less expensive. Uh, you will save a few dollars by, by going the, the downloadable route as opposed to taking a hard copy delivery. Uh, but probably the most important is that you're going to be able to uh, take delivery of that software quicker. So you're not going to be waiting for a, a box to get shipped uh, to your front door and, and wait that shipping time to be able to, to, to get your hands on that software. Uh, typically with, with the online software download function, uh, you're getting that email from Siemens to, to start that download process within a matter of hours of placing your order with PCC. So uh, to get to it, uh, what's going to happen is you're first going to place an order with PCC for the software components that you require. And you're going to provide registration information for those software components for the individual that's going to uh, ultimately be downloading and taking ownership of that software. Uh, so the most important part of that registration information is going to be the email address that you provide. And so the first thing that you're going to see from Siemens is going to be an email, uh, an indicator that, that that software is ready to be downloaded. And so what you will do is, as you can see here, is I have received an email from Siemens from this uh, email address, noreply.softwaredelivery.industry at siemens.com. Uh, do make sure that it's not in your junk folder. Have seen that happen before. Uh, but ultimately, you will get this initial email. And if you open up that email, uh, you're going to see it says right across the top, online software delivery. And there is a very specific procedure uh, that should be followed uh, in order to, to, to do this download. So the first thing that it says here is by ordering the Siemens software products, you were registered as a new customer and it wants you to please create your personal password using the function forgot password. All right, so I'm gonna click that forgot password button and I'm gonna to come to a dialogue that's gonna ask me for my login, which is going to be my email address. And then I'm going to hit the request password button. Once I hit that request password button, I almost immediately get an email from Siemens from this, uh, this web address this time, websso.support.it at siemens.com. And if I open that up, again, it's giving me the online software delivery header. And if I scroll down, it's now giving me a link to go ahead and change that password. So I'll click this link. And now it's asking, what is my login? So that's my email address. It's asking what I want my new password to be. So I will put that in. And I can see I've met all the criteria. Make sure you do meet all that or else you'll get a, a red X and it won't let you continue. And I will hit the continue. Uh, it is going to ask you to uh, acknowledge some notices. Just go ahead and hit that checkbox that you confirm you've read that and understand it. And click Next. And now it is uh, taking you back to that forgotten password screen. Uh, but uh, you, can, you can disregard that at this point. Okay, so once I finish that password change uh, process, I will immediately get an email from Siemens uh, confirming the password change. And now what you want to do is you want to shift your attention back to that original email 
uh, regarding the software delivery saying the download is available. So we'll go over to that email and we'll take a look at step two, which says start the automation license manager software. Uh, this is the software where we, we transfer uh, license uh, keys, folding licenses back and forth from, from uh, USB media or online media to our hard drive, which then allows the, the Siemens software to, to access those authorizations. Uh, if you have never installed any Siemens software on your computer, it's likely you don't have ALM installed. So that's going to be the next step. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use this link here uh, to go ahead and download the Automation License Manager software. So what I'm doing now is I've been taken to the uh, Siemens Industry Online Support site, specifically to the support entry that talks about handling programs for authorizing or licensing somatic products. And it specifically has Automation License Manager listed here. So if I scroll down uh, in, this, uh, in this entry, the first thing it's going to show is the TIA Administrator software. Uh, that is not what we're working with here, so go ahead and run past that. Uh, but then I do see a couple of instances of Automation License Manager. So I've got version 6 at the top, version 5.3 at the bottom. Uh, if you're using uh, Windows 7 previous to Service Pack 1, or if you happen to still be using XP on a computer, uh, you're going to need to use uh, ALM version 5.3. But uh, if you're, if you're uh, Windows 7 Service Pack 1 or further ahead, then you're going to go ahead and download the Automation License Manager version 6. So we see that link right here, and we're going to go ahead and click that and download that software. Now, what it is asking us to do now is to log into that site to be able to make that download. And so you're going to use that same login and password that you just created for the online software delivery. So once again, my login is my email address. And then I'm going to put in the password that I just established. And log in. Then we can start that download process. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that file to a directory. I'll save it to my download location. Once that's complete, we can go ahead and click on that executable and get that installation running. And start the process. First thing it's gonna do is it's gonna uh, uh, decompress that executable into a, a temporary directory. And sometimes when you go to do a software installation, it does ask you to restart your Windows uh, before you install those new programs. So I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge this and reboot my computer. Okay, I have rebooted my computer and I am going to relaunch that installation of ALM. is re-extracting. And here we go. Now we are headed into the actual installation process. All right, that setup has completed. We'll go ahead and click finish and finish. All right, so we've completed that next step of installing Automation License Manager. And so now if we look at step number three, it says to launch ALM and follow these steps. So we wanna to go to the web license key download, log in and transfer the licenses. Okay, so now I will launch Automation License Manager. And if I look here on my C drive, I don't currently have any licenses locally on my computer. So as the instructions indicated, I want to go to the online software delivery selection in the tree. And basically this is a web browser that is taking us to the, to the software delivery site. And we are going to log in. 
Uh, we're going to use that same login information that we've been using all along, which is going to be the email address that you registered the software to and the password that you just established. So the same password that you used to log in the service and support site, the download software, is the same password that you used on the that you use on the online software delivery site. So I will go ahead and confirm my uh, my contact information and the export control rules. Uh, you may also, the first time you log in, get a uh, a request to uh, update your profile information. So now that I've logged in, I can see the software that I purchased. Uh, in this case, I purchased the Somatic Automation Tool uh, version 4, the, the Power Pack license. Uh, and so I can go through and I can download the certificate of license. I can transfer the licenses uh, over to my local computer, my C drive, and I can also download the actual installation media. And the first thing that I'm going to do is download the certificate of license. Uh, this is simply a, uh, a PDF. Uh, a document of the of the COL and the reason that you want to have this in your possession and keep this in a safe place is uh, this is a um, this is basically your proof to Siemens that you own this software uh, so if you ever have a situation where your uh, your hard drive fails your computer gets destroyed uh, gets re-imaged without um, you know without being able to get those licenses off of it. This certificate of license is what you will provide to Siemens technical support to get your license reestablished. Uh, this is basically your proof of purchase. Uh, so make sure that you have a copy of this. Uh, if you want to print it out, keep it printed for safekeeping, or if you want to just keep it in electronic format, uh, please do make sure you store this off uh, somewhere for, for future use. The next thing that you want to do is you want to transfer the actual license that is going to authorize the software. This is probably the most important, most critical thing that you need to do uh, so that you have uh, operational software once you're, you're done here. Uh, this is a very simple process. If you notice, as I hover over it, the, the little box turns dark gray. And if I just left click on this and start to drag it, you see that it's moving with my cursor. And what I want to do is I simply want to drag and drop that to my C drive on my computer. Once I do that, it says, hey, you can't undo this. You will have officially taken delivery of your software uh, once you do this. So do you want to proceed? And I'm going to say, yes, I want to proceed. So it's going to transfer that license key. My window will refresh. And now what I see here is I see a green check mark next to my certificate of license, meaning I downloaded it. And I see a check mark next to my license transfer, which says that I downloaded it. And you can confirm that that transfer took place. If I go over to my C drive, I now have a folder that reflects the, uh, the, the order number of the, of the software. And if I dive in here, I get down to the root of that folder. I now see my license present in the uh, somatic automation tool. Okay, finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download the actual install media uh, for this particular piece of software being the somatic automation tool advanced. So I'll go ahead and hit the download icon. Here I can see the somatic automation tool and it's going to directly download an executable file, which you might find in some cases that might download uh, an ISO image, uh, which you can by all means mount with your Windows software or there's several tools to, to mount those as a drive. But in this particular case, the, the size is small enough that it's uh, that's just gonna be a simple executable file. So what I typically do is I will right click here. I will say save target as, I will uh, put this to a directory. In this case, I'll just use my desktop for now and click save. All right, so that download has completed. So I'll go ahead and close out this dialog. All right, so now I have my semantic automation tool uh, installation file here on my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and launch that.
Okay, installation has completed, so I will go ahead and reboot my computer. Now we can see that we have the Somatic Automation Tool software loaded on our laptop. Uh, before we fire up that software, I would like to show you one more thing uh, with regards to the license management. So I'm going to fire up the Automation License Manager. Uh, if we look here uh, on my C drive, that license that I had downloaded uh, from the uh, online software delivery site uh, was this Somatic Automation Tool Advanced Power Pack. So if you look here, it says License Type Power Pack. So this is not a full license. Uh, the, the expectation is that I have an older version license that needs to be upgraded and move forward to the advanced functionality. And so if I look on a USB drive that I have plugged into my computer right now, you can see here I have the version 3 of the Somatic Automation Tool with the license type unlimited. So what I want to do is I need to combine these two licenses uh, in order to get myself a full unlimited floating license for the version 4 uh, advanced functionality of the Somatic Automation Tool. So what I'm going to do is transfer this original license from the USB stick that I currently have it on, and I am going to put this into the same location as my Power Pack license. So now I have both of these guys uh, listed here. So now if I highlight the version 3, the old version license, the full floating license, and I go to License Key Upgrade, what happened was that license identified that I had the upgrade together in the same directory, and it upgraded my Somatic Automation Tool Advanced version 4. Now I have a full license to work with. Uh, uh, for, for this particular piece of software. So a little added bonus to the online software instruction today. You got to learn how to upgrade a license uh, when you have rev upgrades as well. So now if I go back and I launch my somatic automation tool, So now I've launched the Somatic Automation tool, and if I look here, it says Event License Check, a valid product license was found. All product features are enabled. So I am now operational. Uh, my, my, all of my downloads are complete, and I can move on and use my software as necessary. So hopefully you can see here that the, the, the process of downloading the licenses and the software itself is not, is not extremely difficult. Uh, you're going to be able to get use of that software much quicker by taking the onload delivery or online delivery. Um, you are also going to save yourself a few dollars in, in the overall cost. And you know the reality is the, the process that I showed you today is assuming that you have had no Siemens software, you don't own or have the license manager software installed on your PC. Uh, if we take that part of the process out as you purchase more Siemens software, uh, it actually becomes a pretty, pretty easy to use and streamlined service to, uh, to get that information. So thank you very much for your time. I appreciate uh, you checking this video out. Uh, if you have any questions or problems during any of these processes in the future, uh, please give PCC a call. We always have technical support people available uh, to answer questions. Uh, you can give us a ring at area code 262-251-3000. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye now.